Do you want to be able to create a task in To Do from Microsoft Teams on a chat message or a channel message? Then I've got the Power Automate flow for you. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout and I am a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. And today I want to talk to you about a new trigger which is available in Power Automate for a selected message in Teams. Now, if you were like me in the old email world, um, I used to right click and flag any emails that came in that had an action for me. And what was great was that they were automatically pulled into to do. Uh, but there was no way that I could really do that in Microsoft Teams. Sure, I could right click and uh, do save on a message and access it from that. But I spend my life in to do and that's how I organize my time. So I just want to be able to click on a message uh, and then just have a task come straight out of that. Well, this new trigger in Power Automate allows you to do that. So let me show you how it works. So I'm here and uh, I'm going to open up a browser and I'm in office.com. Perfect here, and I'm going to look here for Power Automate. Now, if you don't have that on the side, uh, then you can just click all apps down the bottom and then click Power Automate that way. Okay, and we're gonna set up a Power Automate. It's really, really quick and easy to do that. So I'm going to click on the side and go to Create. Uh, and then we'll be able to look. Now the uh, important thing to say here is that it needs to be in the default environment. So that is uh, a kind of a caveat around, around this thing to make it available in Teams. So um, if you're not in that default environment, then make sure you go up there and select it. So it has to say brackets default uh, there to be able to, uh, to make it work. So just hit the switcher there if you're not ready. So, uh, so back to that. So I'm gonna click create. And this is going to be an instant flow because I'm going to trigger it by by uh, doing that. So uh, I can. There's a couple of ways I can do this. I can create task in to do, add the flow name there, and you can actually see that it's there that says for a selected message. But it might not be there, so let's do it a slightly different way. So I'm going to just click skip and start from blank uh, instant uh, instant one there. So I'm going to give it the name. So we're going to call that create task. Oh no create task in to do that's it and then we're going to look for the triggers so i'm going to look for teams and click on teams so it filters down there and i can see here that i've got one there that says for a selected message so i'm going to pick on that one okay and then we've got this really great uh, adaptive card editor that's built right into power automate uh, to make it really easy for you to create that pop-up card so i click on to create adaptive card OK, and you can see it's given us a sample here with like tell us about yourself and stuff. So we don't need any of this. So I'm click on uh, tell us about yourself and I want to change that. So it's over here on the right hand side. So I'm going to just give it a title. So add new task in to do. OK, and I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need this. I want to keep it really minimal. Um, so let's use as much of this as we can. So instead of saying your name, I want the task subject. And then you can see underneath we've got a text box now. Let's put a helper in there for last, comma, first, because it's the name before. So let's get rid of that. But just so it makes sense for us, we're going to give it the ID, just change it to be called task subject, because we refer back to that later. It just makes it easier for us. So I'm going to get rid of the phone number fields, and I'm going to get rid of the your email box. But this your email title, I'm just going to change that to say due date. And then over here on the left hand side, we've got all the different inputs, but one of those is input date. So I'm just gonna drag it into the bottom. There you go, and I have to give it an ID so I can reference it later. So in the ID, I'm going to call it uh, task date. Okay, uh, don't need any default values or anything like this. And then I click on save card. So that's there. Now if I wanna change that, I can click that button and go back in, but I'm happy with that. So I've got the card. Um, and I go on to my next action and I'm going to type in to do and I've got here uh, Microsoft to do business. So uh, I'm going to add a to do. OK, and I'll just create a connection there. Um, and then so the first thing is, what is the subject of the to do item? OK, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then down here on my dynamic content, I've got task subject. And then which list am I going to put it in? So I'm just going to put it straight into my tasks. But if you had different ones, you could do that. And then I've got due date here. Uh, so this isn't compulsory, but I'm going to put it in. Um, and task 
date. Okay, and then I've got other fields here that I'm not going to do anything with. But the last one I'd like to put in is the actual content of the message that I've clicked on in Teams, um, in that body content of the task. So it just kind of helps me out a little bit here. So I click in that, and then down on my dynamic content, where is it? There it is, message content. Perfect. Okay, and then I can, when I'm happy with that, I can click on save. And, and that's it. Uh, that's that's as much as I need to do here. So once it's saved, I can just click back, just go out of that, don't worry about that message. Um, and I can just go and test that out. So here, let me pop back and I'm gonna go on to uh, Teams. So I've got Teams here, it could be the Teams client, it could be Teams through the web, doesn't matter. Uh, okay, and just there when it's loaded up um, and we'll find. So here I am in the finance team and uh, in the audits. And I can see here that Lydia has put something that said, remember that any proposal we submit will need a thorough review from legal. They have a new process document. So I need to review that process document. Um, and But I haven't got time to do it now, but otherwise it will just kind of pop up. So here in the ellipsis, I can click on that and do more actions. And you can see there, there is my Power Automate Create Task in To Do. So uh, that's the card I just designed. So I'm going to review legal documents uh, on new process and I need to do it, let's say, by next uh, next Friday. So I'm gonna click Submit, uh, and that's done, perfect. So here, if I go back to Office again, and let me just find uh, To Do, so it's not there on the side, so let me click All Apps, uh, and there it is, To Do. Okay, just give a moment for that to load up, and hopefully it will have appeared. Just get there it is, uh, review legal document on new process, review due uh, the 28th of August, so next Friday. Um, and then if I actually just click on it over here on the side, you can see here is the uh, is the content from Lydia. And if I wanted to kind of expand that and make it uh, make a little bit more rigorous, I could actually add a link. Uh, one of the dynamic content things was a link back to the original post. So I could click on that and that would actually take me back out into uh, Teams. So that's a way that I could uh, expand that in the future. So hopefully you found that really, really useful. It is, you can see that it literally takes five minutes to set up, but it, I guarantee uh, it will be transformational for you and your task management. Um, it's straight there into to-do, so you've got it where you where you access to-do on your mobile or whatever, um, and we've got some changes that are coming uh, coming up that we've, that we've published uh, saying that planner, that planner personal app in Teams is going to include the to-do items as well. So uh, a really exciting way uh, to be able to manage your tasks and make sure that you're on top of everything. So thanks for your time and have a great day. <laughs>